You are clearly violating my Fourth Amendment right right now. You're violating my Fifth Amendment right. I should be free to leave at this point, and you're attempting to stop me from doing so because you're saying I'm violating the law. But you have no proof of that. You didn't witness me doing that. You can't take hearsay as proof. That's not proof. You have to witness something in order to call it proof. And you don't have that. I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't break the law. I don't do that. They don't give a fuck about us. Alright guys, real quick, I just want to say thank you guys for everybody who clicks on my videos. It means a lot. I mean, it really does. There's so many, there's thousands of channels out there and you guys click on this channel. Why? I don't know. But thank you very much. Real quick, it means a lot if you guys hit the thumbs up, man. It really helps my videos get out there. Alright guys, I found this channel, Rights to Resist. I think you guys will love this channel. It's very educational. He only has one video and only over 200 subscribers. So if you guys want to go help him out, go check him out. YouTube channel rights to resist. I don't answer questions. Okay. Do you have your ID on you? I don't offer. I need ID. your ID. I got. Did I break a law? There's a potentially a liquor liquor violation. Yes. Yeah, I didn't. Are you serving tonight? I wouldn't violate anybody. So. Okay. Well, it's it's unlawful to serve someone who's visibly intoxicated. Right. Okay. So I think, that's, that's. I think we all know that, but I didn't do that. So. All right. Do you have your ID? No, I don't. I didn't break any law. Right. Do you have evidence? That's why or we're do you have, here. Do you have evidence that that's, I broke a law in particular? That's why I'm here. If you don't have evidence that I specifically broke a law, then there is no probable cause for you to ask for my ID because I have you have to have reasonable. Yeah, no, you have to have reasonable. I specifically broke a law, which I didn't do. Listen, I'm very careful about who I serve, and that's all I'll say. Listen, I have reasonable. That's why I'm suspicion. recording. Okay, that's fine. You can record. I'm recording too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's good. I have reasonable suspicion that there was a violation. Uh, by who? A liquor violation by the people serving alcohol here tonight. Okay. Okay. Again, I, I still don't understand what that has to do with me. I'm just here working a catering event. I'm um, here working for well, the because staff. So. I already explained that to you because I was told that you were also serving alcohol at the bar tonight. Okay. By two I'm, other employees here. I'm not going to get into details and discussions with you about an ongoing investigation, especially when it you don't, has you nothing don't to do to with me. You don't have to any questions, but you do have to identify yourself. I didn't break any laws, so what would I have to identify myself for? In Colorado, in order to ID somebody, you have to have proof that they've either broken the law or that you have to have reasonable suspicion, suspicion or articulable I suspicion did. that they have broken a law. No, you didn't witness me doing did. anything, and you don't have any witnesses saying that I over served anybody. So I don't Do like... I need to detain you and. What would you detain you? me for? To identify you. For what crime, though? You have to have a crime to detain me. Reasonable suspicion is not a crime. So look. Yeah, go ahead. Were you serving alcohol tonight at this event? I'm not answering any questions All for right, you guys. So your... I'm recording. Thing. I was running around you picking up glasses. I'm recording as well. And... I'm, agree, I'm literally running around with a tray in my hand. When you got here, you didn't see me serving anyone. Okay. Right? Right. I'm not going to argue with you. So I don't understand where your reasonable, articulable suspicion that I personally committed a crime is. You can sus suspect all you want. You can come back later and, and demand whatever you want once you have that. But you don't have that because I don't break the law. Okay. I know what I'm doing. I'm an intelligent individual. I don't go out breaking laws. I, I, I know you are. You're something very intelligent guys. Yeah, so I don't, I don't break laws, so I have no reason to articulate. You have no reason to articulate a crime, so I have no reason I have to. Of reason to articulate, but you're not listening. Not for me. That's you have reason to articulate what you think is a crime, but that's not a crime. The lady's on her way to the hospital. That's, that's not even. Probable cause. But again, who, again, that's not probable right? cause of me for anything. You're right. I, I have reasonable suspicion that I'm trying to investigate. Right. Reasonable you. suspicion is where we're at right now. I'm trying, don't interrupt yeah. me real quick. Let me finish my statement, right? Reasonable suspicion yeah. that people who are working at this event, right. who are serving alcohol, uh -huh. served alcohol. And that is a. Yeah, who, go ahead. Who served alcohol to these, these people here, right? Uh -huh. So we're just trying to identify. Right. And that is a completely so, different so thing than reasonable, so, articulable so suspicion. Nothing. Reasonable okay. suspicion yeah. just means you reasonably suspect something happened. Reasonable, articulable suspicion is that you specifically have articulable proof. You have reasonable, articulable proof uh -huh. that one individual broke the law. That'd be probable cause. No, no, that's oh, yeah, yeah. probable cause is the next step. No, After probable. reasonable, articulable suspicion, then you interview everybody that you can, reasonable. and if that gives you enough probable cause, then you have a probable cause statement to do an arrest. But you don't have a probable cause statement right now because right, right, I haven't right. admitted to any crimes. Right, right, here because I didn't break the law. Yeah, right, right now. Murdoch said he's talking to your supervisor, trying to figure out mm. who you are. Make sure you're not willing to give me your. You have no right to that information. Okay. You need to go do your job. Me being, you know, 
obedience has nothing to do with your job. You need to go do your job. You guys always think you can just bully situations, and it's not going to happen. Dude. No, it's bullying. When you decided that you were going to detain me without a, you know, a a a really a really strong, reasonable, articulable suspicion, by detaining me without that, you are clearly violating my Fourth Amendment right right now. You're violating my Fifth Amendment right. I should be free to leave at this point, and you're attempting to stop me from doing so because you're saying I'm violating the law, but you have no proof of that. You didn't witness me doing that. You can't take hearsay as proof. That's not proof. You have to witness something in order to call it proof, and you don't have that. I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't break the law. I don't do that. Sorry, I'm, I'm always, to... always very I'm careful. You don't get to just identify me, though. You can say that you I saw that some bartender, but I'm not a bartender. You. I'm a server. I was. You literally watched me walking around picking up glasses of water off of tables. Were you serving alcohol tonight? I'm not answering any questions. But you literally how, how saw me. I, you literally I, saw me picking up have? glasses of water. That's what you saw me doing. I, I just met you right here, right now, sir. You're I watched me. you walk in as I was walking around picking up glasses. I don't know what you were looking for. I'm just letting you know that I saw you as I walked in when I was picking up glasses. I'm just trying to get my job done. I got work to do. I want to be able to go home. It's already what? In the process, I inadvertently stopped the recording. Not much happened in the time frame between where I cut it off and where it picks back up, but there was small discussion about my status as a detained individual and when I was going to be released. The video picks back up with the second officer returning after having acquired what he thinks is my legal name. I'm not being detained any longer. No. So what was I being detained? What reasonable You're articulation did you have that you could detain me? I've already explained this. A lot. No, you didn't. You just told me I'm I, being detained. I, 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 so you can okay. you can explain this to I, me. I, I, what reason? Let me finish real quick. What reasonable articulable suspicion did you have that I committed a crime that gave you the right to detain me? Okay. We get called here because there's an unconscious female that was reported that she had been served eight, seven or eight alcohol beverages. None of that's my problem. No, no, no. Don't interrupt. Don't interrupt. Don't interrupt. Yeah, I get it, but that's All not right, my we're problem. Done. We're out of yeah. here. See you later. Y'all have a great day. That's just not my problem. You know I'm what I mean? I'm not going to argue with you. Yeah, I'm not going to argue with you either. Have a good night. Thank you.